Welcome back to Saturday AM. We've been coming to you live this morning from the Wedding Journal Show here at City West, having a great time. And now we want to talk about wedding decor. So I'm joined by uh, our guest Adele Cooney, who's the creative director of Vintage Fair. Good morning, Adele. Good morning, how, are how are you? Are you? Uh, talking about wedding decor and flowers, of course we love flowers, but decor is very much a thing and something that brides and grooms want to offload, for example, on exactly. interior designer in 2018. Is that true? That's so true. And that brides are more looking at the polished look now going forward. It's the DIY look is kind of past now and brides are looking for you know, a much more sophisticated and elegant look throughout the entire venue, like a story from start to finish. Love so, it. So we're going to have a look at this um, particular theme first. This is the classic romantic vintage. Sounds lovely. Talk yes. us through it. So this is really popular. I mean, this is the classic timeless look. And I mean, this look really never goes out of fashion. But for 2018, it's really about using props and like fresh flowers on all different kind of unusual items around the venue, um, you know, using pastels. But this year, the trends are really kind of muted lavenders, um, you know, really pale purples with um, greys and, um, you know, a lot of kind of white and fresh foliage and stuff like that. And I think we actually have a photograph as well as an example of that, this trend. But I think with the romantic vintage, something you said is quite interesting, um, purples and greys, and that would be quite reflective of interior design trends exactly, in general. Exactly, yes, yes. So, I mean, generally, I mean, you'd carry that scheme, I mean, from the, from the church all the way through into the venue, right the way into the ballroom, and it's really just a timeless look. Um, and again, adding the pastels into the grey is really a great way to add colour and blend it into your bridesmaids and your bridal party for the day. Now, you look after many happy couples in the lead up to their big day. This is the rustic look. Is this a popular one yeah, with so your this clients? Is, this is like a key trend for 2018, OK? So this is a very whimsical look. It's very woody and it's very earthy. And this typically would suit the classic kind of boho style bride. And I mean, this scheme works in all venues. So whether it's an old classic manor house or whether it's, um, you know... A an, more modern an, venue. Yes, a very modern venue. You can really kind of t like strip back and really use kind of muted, very fresh, um, luxurious, you know, foliage with just plain ivory um, ivory flowers. You wouldn't really use the kind of the pastels and the blousy flowers for this. This is a very stripped back, very luxurious so kind of foliage. So it's ivy yeah, and white. And I like the fact that you have the sort of geometric design creeping in there and all exactly, of the candle holders. Yeah. And this, like, this is a big trend for 2018 and all the different textures. It's very woody, woody yeah. it's very earthy and again it looks beautiful on tables be it a modern or an old venue. And we can see a photograph there, an example of it too. So this is one of the more popular themes for 2018, which to be fair Rustic has been around for, well it's obviously been around a long time but it's been popular amongst bride and grooms for the yes, last five exactly. years and this is just more of an elevated look um, yeah. you know especially with the um with it's the so tied it's so well tied in but i suppose that is your job isn't it yeah exactly <laughs> now we'll so, move on to shabby chic and shabby chic i think people either love it or they hate, they hate it, it. Exactly. so their, their kitchen is shabby chic yeah. or else it's ultra ultra mod yeah um, now and there is a think? lot of brides that 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 would come and they would say you know you i really don't like all rustic i really don't like all shabby chic and then you could, I mean, all of these looks tie in really, really well together. But the shabby chic look, I mean, it's very over the top. It's full of lace, it's very pearly, it's very girly. Um, and I suppose it really, it just looks beautiful in the older venues as well. You know, typically in the modern venues, we would tend to strip this back because it's trying to create a look that's really not within keeping of the venue. But again, it's a timeless look. I mean, you either love it or you hate it. I personally absolutely love it. It, mo it looks really, really well tied in with elements of the rustic look too. So you can have all of these looks kind of blended together mm. if you like. But again, I mean, it's a timeless look. We would generally start um, all of these looks at the very beginning of the venue and carry them throughout the drinks reception and into the ballroom so your scheme is carried throughout and i love the fact that you actually have that theme starting at the wedding invitations just clever yeah, so exactly. they know instantly your guests what kind of vibe you're probably going for and moving on to vintage glam are we thinking great gatsby here i mean you have some beautiful uh, candles candlesticks candelabras yeah. but you still have that vintage vibe with the birdcage and yes yeah, so it's a very opulent look i mean yeah. it's it's more kind of clean line than the you know the the over the top shabby chic and the the paired back rustic so this is all about glassware you know the rose golds and um, metallics that kind of thing and i mean it's it, it's it would be more um i mean you can tie in the you can bring softness with the likes of the bird cages and the light and stuff like that but again 
um, it ties very well with the likes of the cherry blossom trees also on the table. It's very opulent and it's very kind of over the top. There'll be less pearls and, and lace with this look and it might be more kind of soft, um, luxurious fabric. So would this be a look that might be quite popular um, in a hotel that's well known and that has a function room that you perhaps have been exactly, in before? Exactly, exactly, yes. So not completely you know, bringing this metamorphosis, whereas the vintage look was, it's quite extreme, isn't it? The shabby yeah, sheet. exactly. So again, this worked very well in very modern venues. And we're finding as well this year that um, modern venues, they cater for larger numbers and numbers are actually increasing guest numbers. So a lot of the larger venues wouldn't, um, or a lot of the, the manor houses and the classic cl uh, castle venues don't cater for these large numbers. So again, this look ties in really well gorgeous. with the, the modern venues. Adele, lovely to have you chatting you to so us this morning. Time. Some gorgeous inspiration here. We're going to go to a break now. See you soon.